Hey, long time no see everybody. This is N14. I have a brand new Japanese tutorial for you guys today. In this video, we're going to be talking about vocabulary and why it's important to have an expansive lexicon while taking a test like the JLPT N5. If you're ever in a sticky situation where you don't know what a particular word means, you can use other words to help you kind of figure out what the answer is. So come on down, follow me, and let's take a look at this next Japanese problem, alright? Let's go! Alright, here we go. This is today's JLPT N5 level question. Basically, the objective is to read the initial sentence, number 5, and choose the sentence that has the similar meaning. So let me read this for you really quick. It says, Watashi wa mikan nya ichigo nado ga suki desu. So after reading the initial sentence, there are two words that stick out to me. The first word is mikan. And the second word is Ichigo. If I properly prepared for this test and consistently reviewed my flashcards on a daily basis, I'd understand that Mikaten means orange or tangerine, and Ichigo means strawberry. So basically, this whole entire sentence right here is talking about fruit. If for some strange reason you forget the word fruit in Japanese, your knowledge or having an expensive vocabulary will allow you to make an educated guess with regard to finding the answer. So right now let's take a look at A, B, C, and D and let's try to find the correct answer, okay? So let's take a look at A. Watashi wa kodomo ga suki desu. Kodomo. Kodomo means child. And child or children with regard to meaning have no relationship to fruit. Mikan and Ichigo are not synonyms for kodomo. So I'm going to eliminate A because the meaning is not similar to the original sentence. Now let's take a look at B, okay? It says, Watashi wa kudamono ga suki desu. Let's pretend hypothetically that you do not know what kudamono means. Maybe you forget. So we're going to put a star here and we're going to come back to it, all right? Next, we're going to take a look at C. C says, Watashi wa yasai ga suki desu. Now in this situation, let's pretend that you do know what yasai means, right? Yasai means vegetables. Are mikan and ichigo vegetables? Obviously they're not, right? Mikan and ichigo are fruits. So we're going to eliminate C. And last, we're going to take a look at D. It says, Watashi wa kiro ya aka ga suki desu. Now, kiro means yellow, and aka means red. So, kido and aka are colors, while mikan and ichigo are fruits. So, we're going to eliminate D, which means that B is our correct answer, and kudamono definitely does mean fruit. And there you have it. That's exactly how I would answer a question like that. Once again, I can't express how important it is to have an expansive vocabulary. If you know many Japanese words, you can answer these questions relatively quickly. To me, questions like this are relatively easy, and if you studied your flashcards, you're going to be racing through these questions. You can answer this question in less than 10 seconds. Thank you for spending some time with me today. I hope that you are staying healthy and washing your hands frequently during these troubled times. If you enjoy these types of tutorials, please subscribe to my channel and click the notification button. I'll be uploading Japanese tutorials frequently to help you pass the Japanese language proficiency test N5 level. Take care of yourselves, alright? And try your best to stay consistent.